This video is brought to you by Bookmark.com. Bookmark's a free website builder where you can create a professional looking website with hosting in just a couple minutes by answering seven simple questions. Bookmark's AI engine Ada literally builds your website right in front of your face in less than two minutes and you can edit virtually every aspect of the page once it's complete. You can also upgrade to connect your existing domain and create an online store with e-commerce integration. It's awesome. Click the link in the description below or check them out at Bookmark.com. Yo, I'm Brian P. You're watching Bad Seat Tech, and today we're taking a look at two impressive open back headphones. These are collabs between Mass Drop and Sennheiser. We're looking at the HD 58X Jubilee and the HD 6XX. First, for transparency, I bought the 58X Jubilees for $150. After getting them and being blown away, I was curious what the extra $50 got you for the 6XX. So I reached out to Mass Drop to see if they'd send a pair out for the channel, and they agreed. Two, I have an affiliate deal with Mass Drop, which means I get 5% back anytime you buy any thing through mass drop using my link nonetheless i would never try to sell you something i didn't believe in 100 percent and i don't pull any punches in my reviews lastly there's a lot of history here both these headphones share a lineage with some legendary sennheiser headphones they have similar design characteristics similar sound characteristics and similar driver designs as some really expensive headphones so there's a ton of opportunity for this thing to dissolve into a history lesson about sennheiser but that's not what we're doing here today so if you want to come off the top rope in the comments and just dazzle everyone with your amazing fraser brain like knowledge of the history of headphones knock yourself out okay let's go now i have to open this up by saying you really can't go wrong with either of these both are solid amazing headphones that punch way above their price tag the amount of headphone that you're getting for the money here is ridiculous they have a lot in common too so let's talk about that stuff first and then we'll get into how they differ the bodies on both are almost entirely plastic with just metal on the slides for adjustment they both share that classic sennheiser frame and they're very lightweight at 260 grams they both have a pretty reserved amount of medium density foam inside the headband with a little divot cut out from the top of your head. Both come with oval shaped velour ear cups. The outer measurements on these are 105 millimeters by 84 millimeters. And the inside is 62 millimeters by 39 millimeters. These are tapered in for comfort, but they will collect every bit of dust, lint, and pet hair that possibly exists in your space. No 90 degree rotation, just a little bit of swivel and a little bit of tilt. And they do have some fairly aggressive clamping force right out of the box. Luckily, they have a tendency to break in pretty quick. Both have a six foot, two pin split rubberized cable that terminates in an eighth inch jack. You also have a quarter inch jack adapter included in each box. Both have metal grills on the exterior. On the 6XX, it is see through. There is no foam behind it, so you can see right through to the driver. It's a very striking look. The 58X Jubilee has foam behind that mesh grill. Be aware that you can mod the Jubilee and pull that foam out so you can get a very similar look to the 6XX. But that foam there also controls subtle tuning aspects of the highs, so you'll have to experiment to figure out which way sounds better for you. Both of these are an open back design with all the pros and cons that come with using an open back headphone. That means you're not gonna really emphasize bass here versus a closed back set. They both have excellent, excellent sound stage and imaging. So the game world around you is gonna feel very big and picking out enemies, directional positioning is gonna be solid. They both allow you to hear the real world around you while you're listening and they both leak audio at high volume big time. Prepare to annoy roommates and significant others. And you can totally still use open back headphones on stream. They shouldn't interfere with your mic too much. If you start to look around, you'll see a lot of the big streamers using an open back design because the advantage it gives you both in sound stage and imaging. All right, that's what they have in common. Now, here come the differences. The first is packaging, if that matters to you. The 58X Jubilee comes in a super plain Jane basic cardboard box. The 6XX comes in a hefty, foam line hinged presentation box, super nice. Also the body on the 58X is a glossy black where on the 6XX it's more of like a matte midnight blue. Next up is power handling and this part is very important. The 58X Jubilee is rated for 150 ohms and the 6XX is rated at 300 ohms. This dictates the amount of power it's gonna take to really get the most out of these headphones. Your average gaming headset will have an impedance between like 28 and like 40-ish ohms. It doesn't take a lot of power to get the most out of those. With the 58X, even at 150 ohms, if you plan on listening on your PC, your phone, or plugged into like your Xbox One controller, you're good. You'll have enough power and volume. Not a huge amount, not tons in surplus, you'll have enough. With the 6XX, in my experience, you will not have enough volume if you're listening on anything that doesn't have an amp. Your phone is not gonna do it, your console controllers aren't gonna do it, and if your audio solution on your PC does not have an amp to your headphone out, that's not gonna do it either. For versatility, the 58X Jubilee takes the W. As far as PS4, you're gonna be out of luck on both of these. The DualShock controller is not gonna have enough power to properly drive either of these headphones, 
not by a landslide. The only way around it is if you're using an amp with your PS4. In that case, you'll be good to go. Now, I strongly endorse using an amp with both the 58X and the 6XX, but if budget's a concern and an amp is just not in the cards, you can stop watching right now and just go get the 58X. Maybe hit the like button on your way out. All right, so if you're in a position where you can provide both of these guys with some juice, there are gonna be some subtle differences in the sound character, not necessarily the quality. Well, it's worth noting that before testing here, I did burn in both of these phones with 24 hours of pink noise. Now, whether or not you believe in that is a topic for a different video but I did. So the 58X Jubilee has a frequency response between 12 and 38,500 hertz. It's gonna sound a little bit warmer. The focal point here is on the low mid to low end. The highs are there, but they're not terribly bright. So if you ever find yourself sensitive to highs or if they sometimes sound harsh to you, or you just maybe like an overall constant presence of low end in the mix, these are your boys right here. The sound character on the 58X lends itself to all kinds of gaming and in my mind makes for a more immersive gaming experience, though you can still go in and EQ these up to focus a little bit more on the highs if you need to go hunting for footsteps. Again, these are very versatile. The 6XX on the other end has the focal point more towards the mid highs to the high end. There's a lot more clarity and detail when you move from the 58X to the 6XX in terms of highs. Frequency response here is a little bit better in terms of paper specs at between 10 and 41,000 hertz, but in real world, I doubt you'll notice that. And it has bass, yes, but it's different. The bass here hits when the bass hits. It doesn't necessarily have that low, constant presence in the mix that we see on the Jubilees. The highs can sometimes be a little bit much for me here, and my ears have really been through it over the years. If you really value like clarity and detail and separation on the high end, you're really into like guitars and stringed instruments, or you really just have to have the absolute most detail on the high end for picking out footsteps, 6XX is your guy. It may also have a slightly wider soundstage. It's worth noting here that I had to dig pretty deep to come up with those comparisons. In reality, these headphones sound very similar to me. If you blindfolded me and made me listen to these on different days, I'd have a really hard time picking them out from one another. And even though the 58X emphasizes bass in comparison to the 6XX, it does not have a lot of bass versus other headphones. It's gonna sound pretty weak in the bass department if you're used to a real bass heavy set of closed back headphones. I wanna be very clear about that. Now we have to talk amps real quick. For an external headphone amp, I use an Objective 2, runs about 100 bucks. The one I have is from Mayflower Electronics, but a lot of different companies out there make a version of this. Mass Drop does make their own version of the O2 as well. If you do decide to go that route, make sure you get the model with the standard gain. I also use the Mayflower Arc as my primary jack amp. It's handmade, it does come with some certain quirks, and it's pretty pricey at $250. But it's got a DSP bass boost built into it. With this DSP engaged, the 6XX actually pulls ahead for me, if only very slightly, because with that increased bottom end, it can now stand up to all the clarity and the emphasis on the high. So what you get is a very balanced, very powerful sound. In game, it's absolutely ridiculous. When it comes to music for certain tracks, it's overbearing and upsets the mix. I wind up cutting it off. It's also worth noting here that I do experience some ear fatigue a lot faster when I run them this way. All right, let's wrap this up. Do you not have an amp right now? You're planning on listening on your phone or your Xbox One controller? Like an overall warmer tone to your mix? HD 58X Jubilee. Only using them at your desk or receiver? Already got an amp? Really value clarity and brightness on the highs? 6XX. Now this video is naturally gonna to lead to some questions about how either one of these headphones stack up against Sennheiser's own gaming line, particularly the GSP 500, and or how these headphones would sound with the GSX 1000 amp. I will definitely address that in an upcoming video. It's just too big to tack on to today's video. Again, there are affiliate links in the description below. The 58X is in stock and is shipping right now. The 6XX you can pre-order right now, and I've been told by Mass Drop that those will ship out no later than February 4th. And I need to warn you guys too that all sales on mass drop are final so unless that item arrives damaged or defective if you just change your mind it's off to ebay so please please be sure before you buy anybody starting to piece together what i'm planning yet if you think you got an idea let me know in the comments below don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell you are not going to want to miss the announce on this video i promise we're still looking at about two weeks out right now and that's it for this time i'm brian p thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button hit that sub button and until next time Stay up.